Make sure to book your next fishing trip in Louisiana with a member of the Louisiana Charter Boat Association. Visit lasaltwater.com today. It's fall and we're in Venice, Louisiana in Plaquemines Parish with Captain Brian Sherman of Southern Paradise Charters. I love this time of year because you catch a little bit of everything. Outside, inside, the fish bite like crazy and we're gonna see how many fish we can catch. So let's go fishing. Closed captioning is brought to you by the Delta Marina in Empire, Louisiana, featuring newly renovated cabins on the water, a ship store for all of your tackle and food and drink, live shrimp, gas and diesel, a fish cleaning station, and the Ponderosa Grill and Oyster Bar serving South Louisiana cuisine Thursday through Sunday. Visit us online at thedeltamarina.com. It's an early start and a chilly start to the morning as we leave out of Venice, Louisiana. And as always, when we go fishing, it's always much more windier than it's supposed to be. And that's the forecast today. So east wind, we head to the west. And our first task was to see if we could catch some redfish. And as soon as we get to the spot, well, we catch a big fish, but it's not a red. That's a drum, huh? Oh, no, it's a red, I think. It's a red? Well, I just came up on top. All right, let's get a net if we have one. I got one right behind me. He's going to be a minute. Fishing for us in the last few weeks has been uh, slow to start. So as you can see, we get out here, Logan's setting up. I make a cast, hook a big redfish, it gets off. And then Captain Brian, he hooks one. So we still have everything just all over the place. Beautiful sunrise in Buras and a big old redfish. I don't know, it might be a big black, I think it's a big black drum now, big, it just okay. came up on top. This is a mad old black drum. It's fall and it should be on. We got a front come through. Well, that's a big old drum. Had a front come through, just messed everything up. But we're four days after the front now. We're on the west side of the river because our calm wind, which is supposed to be calm, is howling out the east. But that's not a bad thing, because we're on the west side. There we go. Spin in. Oh, got him. All right. <laughs> Let's bring him up here. Pull him up, show him off. Black drum. <laughs> I want dots on mine. <laughs> there he goes. All right. Woo, sorry. Well, the first spot ends up being a, a one red? fish yeah. wonder. So we make a move in search of redfish, and we start finding a few little rat reds. There you go. About 14 inches. Five spotter. One for next year. Nice little fish. <laughs> That'll be the spring's crop. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. Come on, I got it. You got it? A little. That's a red. red. I think that's a red. What is that? A little red? It's a little red right up in that pocket. Pretty little rat red. So we're just going from point to point right now. Water's filthy, but we're fishing a spot where Captain Brian caught some fish here about a week ago. So we'll see what happens. Oh, there he there is. Got it. That's a red. All right. There we go. Well, right species, wrong size. Hey, <laughs> but there's never a there's never a wrong size when you're out catching fish. <laughs> nice little red fish. See you later, buddy. Make sure to book your next fishing trip in Louisiana with a member of the Louisiana Charter Boat Association. Visit lasaltwater.com today. There he is. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna get spooled. 
Oh, there we go. We're out here looking for bull reds, and I think we just found one. The problem is, I'm throwing the, my rod that doesn't have a lot of string on it, <laughs> so I've got to hurry up and try to get him in. I've got all these pelicans out here, and when you get these pelicans, you're normally going to see bull reds, and that's what we're trying to do. We started off on the inside, it was kind of slow, got out here, knew they were going to be somewhere out here, and there, this one's coming under the boat. When you're fishing white tackle like this, you just want to let them do what they want to do, which is do that. Just let them go around. There ain't nothing you can do. There's a, oh, that's a big bull red. I love coming out here and doing this. This is one of the things I enjoy the most, is just drifting, fishing, and catching bull reds. There he comes. Well, he got, he just flipped over there and then just came, there he is right there. Sometimes I got a couple of buddies chasing around by him. Sometimes you just of course, this one's gonna go right into the sun. <laughs> the other thing you have to deal with this time of year is in the summertime, he'd be worn out. But the water temperature is cooler now. So this sucker here is far from worn out. Let's head up. Come on, head up. Well, <laughs> if he gets off, we saw him. He's not getting off. He's getting right in the side. Side him off. He's getting tired now. As soon as his head comes up, we'll be able to net him. At least one of us is getting tired. <laughs> I think you're going to need a bigger net. I just need his head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that's bigger than uh, 25. <laughs> that is a beautiful big, fish right there. That is a Look beautiful at all fish. Spot. And the funny thing is, you, you hook them right in the side of that mouth right there. There's a really hard spot there. And you get them in that hard spot, it is something else. Ah, don't. That's a big bull red. That's as good as it gets right there. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do the release job on this one. Oh, God. <laughs> So we got a bunch of mullet out here, a bunch of pogies. And that's what they're eating on. And that's a wrap for that one. But that's what it's like to come out here and catch these bull reds. Sometimes they'll come up in schools, but a lot of times they're just gonna do what they just did. You just gotta, you just gotta cast. It's just a fan casting deal. And you find a drift as to where they are, and then you just keep on that, going that drift. These bull reds are attracted by noise and bait. So what you want to do a lot of times, you're not going to take that four horseman quirk when you're fishing slot reds, you're just going to pop it like that and have a little, just a little pop. These bull reds, I mean, you really want to give it a pop for these bull reds. That's what's going to get their attention. So it's a hard, hard pop with these things. So it's a lot different than your slot redfish. And if we had a bunch of them here, they would end up coming up and hit that cork. But if you look at that cork, how I'm popping it, I mean, I am popping the heck out of that cork. Nothing subtle about the bite and nothing, nothing subtle about the way you're gonna fish them. The thing about, that I love fishing about Venice the most is that uh, the variety, as you'll see today, the variety is just, incredible plus we do mangrove snapper red snapper uh, triple tail fishing uh, so there's so many different species some years it hasn't been this year but some years we're catching trout in 15 to 18 feet of water and the cobia come in and so it's just uh, the fishery is just an incredible fishery and you never know what you're going to catch when you throw your line out here in Venice Louisiana get way behind them and drift up into them there he is 
right on the side of the boat. You know, I was talking a minute ago about how you have to pop the cork. That, I was just sitting there, we were talking about moving, there's a bunch of pelicans over here and we were talking about going to them and my cork was just sitting there. This is another big fish. See, Logan's up here now, look at that. This is the fun part. When you have a videographer that's going from one side of the boat to the other, look at that. I mean, literally, you don't know where he's gonna go. But look at that fish in the sun. Look how pretty that one is. I think this one's a little bit longer and a little bit skinnier than the last one. He sure as hell ate his Wheaties. He's gonna make another run for it. See, Logan, you're not very cute, so look what's gonna happen as soon as he gets a look at you. Well, actually, he's not, actually, he's rolling That's over when he sees up. Logan. Oh my goodness. Logan just put this fish in a trance. How'd that happen? Kid comes up here and the fish just is like, okay, I give up. That's crazy. That fish was just fighting and fighting and fighting. Sees Logan and just like to hell with it. Where's my hook? It's way down there. Oh, is it down there? He nailed it. Of course, it was just sitting there. Yeah, it was just sitting there. <laughs> I mean, he's really, see where it is right there? So that's just over time gonna go away. And it's just like a little piercing he has, but it's hooked in there real good. So it's instead no of just off. yanking it out of his mouth, which is the wrong thing to do, we're gonna do it that way and let this fish live. Too pretty of a creature. So now we're gonna do a little CPR, which means catch, photo, and release. It doesn't mean that I'm gonna give him mouth to mouth. So, beautiful fish. And we're gonna turn her loose. Hold on, You're, just give me a chance to get you over here. I'm just as tired as you are. There we go. I think he was ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I see it. That's a big redfish, buddy. Yeah, we just decided to come drift another line, and that's all you got to do out here is just basically just keep on trucking. And you're not going to catch them every cast, but you're going to catch them. And we're just going to keep on drifting and catching these big old things till our arms fall off. <laughs> But Brian, this is, what's make, this is what makes Venice so special, oh, isn't it? Oh, it's unbelievable. And, and the later it gets in the fall, the better it gets. When you start getting to November and December, these things are big, big schools. But people from out of town just love to come in here and catch these things. Yeah, absolutely. Your bull's not as big as my bull. I know. Customer, customer golf. That's right. <laughs> and yours is, you're stronger than me. now. he's. Oh, there's a crab trap though. That might be an issue. Get around there. Yes. I'll tell you what, here's the other thing. I was about to get the net. Oh, don't let your pole dangle in the water unless you want to replace it. Especially when you're pulling one of these up because they might have a couple buddies following yeah, to the boat. Yeah, sometimes there's going to be another one with them. We're going to get him up here. He wants to keep his head that way. He? Yeah, he, he's, got, he's smart. There, there you go. go. And when you get them like this, grab the net right here. <laughs> Otherwise... That's from experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was told that by somebody we were fishing with not too long ago. I don't remember who it was. And they're like, ow! God, that's my bad knee. He's, uh, he's hurting Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Another three inches over, he changed me from a rooster to a hen. Oh. A long uh, one. That's what we're here for. So pogies, that's what these things are, yeah. are feeding on there. They get in here and they start just gorging themselves on these pogies in and around these passes. And 
Dirty water today, but dirty water does not matter when you're doing this. Pop the cork, they're gonna be in this dirty water. Have some fun and come catch some with Captain Brian. All right. All right. Let me let them go. Yeah. Here we go. Go ahead and let that one go. Make sure to book your next fishing trip in Louisiana with a member of the Louisiana Charter Boat Association. Visit lasaltwater.com today. I'm going to set the hook on you in a minute like you ain't never been set before. Like that. Oh, oh, what do we got? They got a little redfish. Yeah. Well, the water out on the outside got extremely rough. So we had to come in. And one of the great things about fishing in the fall here in Venice is the Mississippi River goes down and you can get right in the passes by the marina and catch a bunch of fish. You're going to catch some keepers, you're going to catch some throwbacks, but boy, on a windy day when the wind is blowing and you have a two foot tide range, you know, we caught a few of those bull reds, but it got so, so rough out there, we couldn't do it anymore. And the water was filthy dirty because we had a front come through last week and really, really big tides. So the only option you have is to come fish the inside like this. And we're gonna see if we can pick up a few fish, but hey, it doesn't matter if they're keepers, if they're throwbacks, on a day like this when the wind's blowing and the tide's really falling out, just catching fish is fun. I gotta back this up a ways. It's like oh, no. 10, 11 feet deep right here. I gotta get where I can- Oh, fish. there he is. Got one? Yeah, Good nice one. redfish right on the canes over there. Just moving around, but it's close. And you're gonna catch some keepers, you're gonna catch some throwbacks. I believe this is a redfish. Yes, it is. Come over here, Mr. Redfish, and all that current. We'll show him. Look at that. It's a keeper, huh? It's a keeper. That Pretty redfish. About a 16 incher. All right, let's see if we can do that again. That was like the first cast in that spot. We're just cruising the bank. Pretty redfish. We catch another one, we'll keep him. Got him. You got him, buddy. I got him. You have a flounder? You have a bass. Bass. Woohoo! Well, that's Venice for you. That's Venice for you. Redfish, flounder, green trout. Green trout. <laughs> we have yet to do the old uh, flounder what? yet, but <laughs> nice bass. Logan, starfish. You see it? There he is. I got my bass. <laughs> I got my bass. <laughs> Wait, do I have my? Yeah, I got my bass. No, I have. We got a striper. I, I got told a striper. you we were going to catch a striper. <laughs> so the variety continues. Now a striper. <laughs> you never know what you're going to catch here in Venice. And we've caught just about everything. A striper. Except for the flounder. Except for a want. flounder and a speckled trout. Yeah, the two easy ones to catch. But there goes a the striper. There you go. Got it. Wait, that could be a largemouth. Yeah, it is. There he is. Isn't it? No, that's a no, striper. That's a striper. <laughs> no, it's a largemouth. Yeah. It's a largemouth. <laughs> I knew a, I was going to get me a largemouth bass. It's a smallmouth largemouth. <laughs> this place is special. I mean, if you've never fished down here, especially in the fall, rivers down, nothing like it. Today's Tackle Box is brought to you by the Louisiana Charter Boat Association. Book your adventure today. All right, for our bull reds today, it was a pretty simple setup. ITX spinning reel from Akuma, DTR seven foot medium action rod. Basically all we were doing was taking a 16th ounce death grip jig head, whatever plastic you wanted, about two and a half feet under 
a four horseman popping cork. Make sure the leader material that you're using is 25 pounds because those bull reds are really tough. So basically for the bull reds, a popping cork and a jig is what you need. And that four horseman cork in any sort of soft plastic is honestly gonna work if those bull reds are out there. Now, when we came on the inside, we did a couple of things today. We were catching them on a 3 8 ounce jig on the bottom, catching the small redfish. And then, which is basically this jig head right here, just with a piece of shrimp on it. But then the stripers, we were catching on a matrix shad, purple haze, casting and retrieving. And we were using our Kamado bait casting reel from Akuma and our DTR bait casting rod. And that's the setup that we had today. Of course, all of my clothing here, shirt, hat, jacket from earlier, mm. Habit Outdoors, check them out. They have a brand new website as well. Best fishing clothes you're gonna find. Also, hunting apparel, check them out. Mm. Hey, that's our tackle segment. And speaking of tackle, he's trying to catch another one. Well, the inside bite continues as we catch a variety of fish. And the last thing in the world I expected to catch today were the hybrid striped bass and I caught several of those and it's just amazing how good fishing is in Venice in the fall. It's my favorite time of year. We're right there in Tiger Pass, probably six minutes from Venice Marina catching all of those fish. I want to thank Captain Brian Sherman with Southern Paradise Charters. Come down and fish with him. He also has the kayak service as well so you can do bay boat fishing and kayak fishing. Thanks to Logan Brown for producing the show, and we'll see you next week right here on Let's Go Fishing with Kevin Ford.